Back with us now, Representative James Comer, ranking member of House Oversight. Great to have you on, sir. Okay, you sent a letter to Treasury Secretary Yellen, uh, Yellen demanding information about the Biden family selling U.S. natural gas reserves to China in 2017 and that the president was involved and was making money off it. What's going on here? Well, remember, we requested the suspicious activity reports uh, from Hunter Biden's accounts from Janet Yellen, and she rejected that request. She said we needed more of a reason to get those suspicious activity reports. So we found emails, and in talking to a whistleblower, we co confirmed the validity, where Hunter Biden's company, Hudson West, was working with CEFG, the Chinese version of Enron, the energy company, that was trying to buy natural gas from the United States, which is which is one thing. But we also learned they were trying to also buy an interest in the drillers so they could start having an influence on the whole natural gas industry in the United States. What we also learned was this company uh, in the negotiations, Hudson West, Hunter Biden, was telling the Chinese that his father was also a principal in the business. And we also uncovered another email, Liz, that showed that when they were getting office space just outside Washington, D.C., Hunter requested a key, an extra key for Jim Biden, the president's brother, and Joe Biden, the president, and confirmed that the president was going to have office space in this business that was trying to help the Chinese buy natural gas from the United States and buy an interest in the drillers. I mean, so, you know, Hunter Biden, there's an email or a text where Hunter is reportedly uh, saying the guy who ran China's CEFC was a blanking spy chief of China. Yes. So you guys found an email uh, basically that Hunter Biden's assistant, who was a former worker in the Chinese mm -hmm. Communist Party, sent to Hunter, sent to Hunter with uh, detailed U.S. maps showing where China could mm -hmm. get U.S. natural gas reserves from, basically carving up the U.S., based on nat gas reserves focusing on Pennsylvania, Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and Wyoming? Was that what was going on? That's exactly what was going on. So we understand now that Joe Biden was involved with these shady business deals. According to Hunter Biden and the sales pitches that he was giving to the Chinese, his father was involved in this in 2017. Remember, he's outside the, you know, he's no longer vice president. But Joe Biden has lied to the American people about having any knowledge of Hunter's shady business dealings. We now have proof that he was directly involved in this. And look at what they were doing. Not only were they trying to sell domestic American energy to China at a time when the president's trying to get Americans to buy energy from the Middle East, they were also trying to get a way for China to get in to have ownership in natural gas drillers in the United States so they could control the drilling. I mean, this is a national security nightmare. This is proof that Joe Biden knew, and that's why we've been investigating Hunter Biden from day one, Liz. We didn't worry that much about Hunter Biden. We worried that Hunter Biden had compromised his father, who's the president of the United States. So, so our, invest our investigation of Hunter Biden is slowly turning into an investigation but of we, Joe do Biden. Do we know, I mean, CEFC wired the Biden family $5 right. million, mm -hmm. and there was text messages uh, from Biden Associates' James Gillier warning uh, don't mention Joe being involved right. and that Hunter would, quote, hold 10 percent for the big guy, meaning right. meaning Joe Biden. Did they eventually sell these U.S. nat gas reserves to China? Well, the, the Chinese company eventually folded. And that's why I, I say CEFC was the uh, Enron of China. They built up a, an energy company that really was built on a lot of uh, uh, fraudulent accounts and a lot of fraudulent figures. So we don't know yet how much they bought. We don't know yet if they actually acquired ownership in any of these drillers. That's why we're going to continue to investigate. But we do know that Hunter Biden hired a law firm in Mississippi uh, to conduct the transactions for these, uh, uh, the purchase of Chinese natural, uh, the purchase of American natural gas from the Chinese energy company, as well as to take steps to start so buying interest in American drillers. Are there emails or is it the whistleblower saying that Joe Biden was personally involved? Both. And the emails were, were encrypted and we really had to struggle to, to get what the emails actually said. But we, we have that and the emails showed that uh, 
in the communication with Hunter and the Chinese that his father was involved. He even put his father's personal cell phone number on there. Okay. And to remember, the guy he's dealing with that started the company is the, the main spy for the Chinese Communist Party. Yes, yeah, backed by the Chinese military intelligence. Uh, that's what reports mm -hmm. indicate. Congressman, also this, multiple whistleblowers are saying to your team and House GOP that, uh, on oversight that from 2017 to 2021 that the Biden family promised business associates access to a future Biden White House. Does that include these Chinese officials? Yes, uh, they made assurances to the Chinese officials in 2017, that's the date that we've got thus far on the emails, that uh, Joe Biden would be a candidate for president and would be the, the favorite to win the Democrat primary in, in uh, 2020. So this was all based on the fact that Joe Biden wasn't going away. He wasn't a private citizen. I mean, he was at that time, but he was going to return yeah. to, uh, to politics at the highest level. You know, here's the question. If the Democrats are so confident in the Biden family's innocence here, then why won't Treasury allow access to you guys to the suspicious activity reports on the Biden family deal making? I mean, there's a, apparently 150 of them from U.S. Mm -hmm. banks warning the Treasury Department about what's going on. That's a great question. If, the, if he's innocent, then make me look bad. Give me those bank reports. And remember, Liz, before Joe Biden changed the rules, any member of Congress had access to those suspicious activity reports. This is another example of Joe Biden being compromised because of Hunter's shady business dealings. He changed the rules to block any type of oversight or investigation okay. of his son's shady business dealings. Congressman Comer, we'll stay on these uh, developing stories right. with you. We'll have you back on. Thanks for coming Thank on, you. sir.